President Trump now doubling down today on his decision to reverse the demotion of Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher. By the way, he was convicted of discrediting the armed forces after posing next to the body of a dead ISIS fighter. Now, Gallagher was facing expulsion from the SEALs, but the president put a stop to that and ordered the return of his trident, which is a symbol, a pin that symbolizes membership in the elite force. Now, controversy surrounding this case actually led to the Secretary of the Navy being forced out just yesterday. I want to bring in Timothy Parlatore, who is Gallagher's attorney. Welcome to the show, Timothy. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Well, thank you, know, you for having me. I have to ask you, why should your client, Eddie Gallagher, have received special treatment from the president of the United States instead of letting the military review process actually run its course without any interference? Well, that's easy, because the military justice process has demonstrated itself repeatedly, in this case, to be completely flawed. Right from the beginning, we had misconduct from investigators, prosecutors. Prosecutors and investigators were committing crimes, illegally tracking me, other members of the media, other attorneys. And in fact, the lead prosecutor was kicked off the case. So for the president to just sit there and say, okay, let's let the process that has already demonstrated itself to be failing in this case to just play out, I don't think that that's necessarily a call that he had to make. Now, Timothy, it's a little bit foreboding what you've just said, because, of course, one of the critiques that have people have pushed back on is the idea of the military justice system being um, villainized in this way, and you've just called it essentially this conspiracy-based or this, you know, problematic institution. Is that fair overall? I mean, think about the countries that are hosting the American troops. Well, I think that in this case, we certainly have demonstrated that the UCMJ, as written, is something that was appropriate many years ago but needs to be updated. The way that it was used and abused in this case really uh, shows uh, problems. You know, you had a prosecutor who went completely rogue, and he went out and committed crimes to try and get a wrongful conviction. And in the end, we went to a trial. They presented evidence. They didn't have it. He was convicted of a single count of being in a photo with a terrorist that every single member of his platoon was also in that photo. And every single member of the platoon also went out and, out and took individual photos with that terrorist, including the lieutenant, Tom McNeil. And yet, Eddie Gallagher seems to be the only one they want to hold accountable for this. Well, you know, the former Navy Secretary Richard Spencer was actually on CBS News tonight, and he reacted to the president saying he had to protect his war fighters like Gallagher. Watch this. I don't think he really understands the full definition of a warfighter. A warfighter is a profession of arms. And a profession of arms has standards that they have to be held to and they hold themselves to. So what's your reaction to his statement? Is this send a signal by the president that something like posing for a photo with the corpse of an ISIS fighter, which your client was convicted of doing, and you say others as well were involved, is that okay? Is that the right message? I think what it sends is that when you have somebody like Chief Gallagher, who did pose for a photo with a dead body, who had his kids dragged out of their house at gunpoint in their underwear by NCIS, was thrown in a cell for six months, surrounded by pedophiles and child molesters, such that when his kids came to visit him, they had to wear robes so the other inmates wouldn't get aroused, then has his name and face plastered all over the media worldwide, has his pay taken away, all the president did was give him his rank back so he could retire after he was cleared of all these serious charges. So to say that by giving him his rank back and allowing him to keep his pin is somehow giving him a pass, I think that ignores the facts of this case. He suffered tremendously. Well, your client was actually on Fox yesterday calling out Rear Admiral Colin Green. Now, he's the commander who ordered the military review. Let's take a look. I just get a feeling of embarrassment for my community that Admiral Green is letting the ego get the best of him at this point, um, and he's trying to take my trident because it's, it's all about retaliation. Now, he also accused Spencer of meddling. Is that appropriate somewhere in the military to speak out against leadership like that? I mean, what about the chain of command that's so inherent in the military? What do you think? Exactly, and that's part of the problem with this case, is you had former Secretary Spencer from back in November of last year reaching out to people personally to, per to peddle a false story about there being a video of this murder to try and convince them do not assist Gallagher, trying to prevent them from helping him to get competent legal counsel, putting his thumb on the scale throughout. NCIS, the agency that committed the crimes in the illegal email tracking investigation and the totally failed investigation, they report directly to Secretary Spencer. They're outside of the military chain of command. 
So the person who was supposed to hold them responsible is Secretary Spencer. He failed to do so. And for him to come out now and make this speech where essentially what he's doing is he's repeating canned lines out of a leadership textbook from the Naval Academy instead of actually identifying specific issues. I mean, it's revisionist. It's, it's defensive. It's unbelievable. Timothy Parlatori, thank you for being here. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. I'm joined now by retired Navy Rear Admiral John Kirby. Now, hi, John. I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Especially on a night like this when we're hearing about this information. You, you heard Officer um, Gallagher's attorney speaking, and he says his client is really the one who's been victimized here. What's your response? There's no question that the Navy uh, prosecutorial team did not exactly crown itself with glory, Laura, when they when they conducted a court martial trial for him for this uh, alleged murder. It's, it's it's clear there was prosecutorial misconduct, and they paid a price for that. Uh, and of course, uh, Chief Gallagher was acquitted on the worst charges. But what's forgotten here is he is he was convicted of the crime of posing with. Uh, the corpse of a dead ISIS fighter, which is a violation of the Un Uniform Code of Military Justice. And there were other, other sailors, other SEALs, as the lawyer just said, who also were posed in that picture and have also been held to account. As a matter of fact, three of, the, three of those SEALs were with Chief Gallagher going through this administrative review process to see if they could keep their trident pin. Uh, and so now those three cases are, now, are, are kind of thrown up in the air uh, because... Uh, the president has weighed in and said that Gallagher can keep his pin. So now the Navy's left to figure out what they're going to do with these other three. So what's the deal with the pin? I mean, I, mean, I keep hearing about the trident. I, I help us yeah. unpack for the American people. Sure. It sounds trite. It obviously is not. Tell us why. No, it's not trite. So there are four main warfighting communities in the Navy. Aviators, submariners, surface warfare officers, which I was a long time ago, and Navy SEALs. Each of those warfare communities has a special device that you wear on your chest above your ribbons, a gold device that indicates that you are a qualified member in that warfare community. The Trident uh, is a very, it's a, it's a very well-known, uh, a very famous warfare device that designates you as a Navy SEAL. And it, it has significance, not just from a cultural perspective, but also from a performance and a capability perspective. So it's clearly, I mean, I certainly understand why Chief Gallagher would want to be able to retire with that trident, any Navy SEAL who's gone through an inc the incredible crucible of, the, of, of training to become a Navy SEAL wants to earn that coveted pin and keep that coveted pin. But I would also tell you, Laura, that this process that he was going through, it's a peer review process that the SEALs have been doing for many, many years. Uh, and there are, you know, dozens, if not hundreds, uh, every year of SEALs that are, that, that their, tr their trident uh, pins are revoked from them because of poor conduct, ethics violations, or, you know, other performance issues. So this is a, this is a very um, a very typical process, very normal process. It's a functional uh, process, uh, and it really should have been left to the SEALs to determine whether Gallagher got his they got to keep his pin or not. And yet it was not. The President of the United States has weighed in and has doubled down. Admiral Kirby, thank you for your time and explaining this to us all. Coming tells me it's not going to end here. No, I don't think it will. Uh, because look, I mean, not, not just for the SEALs, because we got three others that have to go through this process, we think, but look at the Army, Laura. Uh, he pardoned Major Goldstein, another one of these uh, uh, individuals who was uh, going, he was going through a court martial, hadn't even been through trial yet. His case had not even been heard by a jury. Uh, he was uh, uh, alleged to have killed uh, three Afghan, I'm sorry, not three, an, another pr a prisoner that was in detention, a Taliban prisoner, excuse me. Anyway, he had never gone through court martial uh, and the president pardoned him. And now the army is going through a similar review process to see if he can keep the silver star that he, won that he won in that engagement, as well as his ranger tab, which is a very similar thing to a trident pin. It's a warfare designation inside the army. So the army's watching this Navy case very closely because they're next, uh, they're next in the shoot. Admiral Kirby, thank you for your time, as My always. Pleasure. You bet.